third to release the likes of Krylak and Rubio Rubin in that final third. Yeah, Rubin had a bit of a difficult campaign, punctuated with that red card. I'm looking at Ragoni. Can he find his first goal for the club? And then that partnership between Driussi and Jossi Zardes, who comes over as a free agent in the offseason. On the other side of things, Josh Wolf essentially trying to shuffle the pack as we get underway here. RSL in the chain strip. Allowing the fullbacks to get a little bit more, to get a little bit forward and then creating some space centrally for this man here, Owen Wolf and Danny Pereira to get the ball. Lovely ball out wide, Gallagher coming inside. Long range, and in off the woodwork! Oh my! The fullback comes forward and he could not have struck that any better! He salutes the travelling Austin FC fans and they salute him back! with the goalkeeper, Brad Super. I was just explaining what their, their tactics look like, but then this is just a little individual effort. He sees a little bit of space, comes inside. Salt Lake is gonna be upset at themselves because they don't get enough pressure on the ball, but take nothing away from this strike on his weaker left foot. Doesn't strike his, doesn't put his foot through and hit it with too much power. It has the right amount of power, the accuracy. There's a lady who won the captain's armband last year. Ball attempted to be played over, some good play from Brody. Driussi. Such a danger in these kind of areas. Pulls it back into the box! And Ragoni with a very good shot, McMath with the save. Another opportunity for Brody. Full cross, the header back in, Glad! And that one's crept over the line! Well, you said he set himself a target of five goals. He's got another one here. And RSL and the fans have the response they wanted. They pull level. And Austin FC do a really poor job of getting pressure to the ball. It gives Brody plenty of time to pick his head up. And it's just that floated ball to the back post. And look at who, look at who it is. I mean, to be honest with you, the three of them in that attacking line. And this is Ben Gomez. Lovely turn away from the center. Back. Gomez! He left by an incident for dust. He went for power. Back for ring. Wolf. Nicely weighted ball in behind, two inside the area, just behind. Driussi just wide. Oh, hey, that. Little entry ball in, Rubin on the turn, gets it back. Still going to fall, Savarino. And that's a big block. Looked like it was on target. Ring to the rescue. Lovely turn from Driussi again. Wolf, he finds the pocket of space further forward. Driving centrally, looking for options, goes for goal! And that is what we've seen! One world-class strike already, how about that one from Owen Wolf? They just backed off him, invited him to shoot. He took the invite. But it comes from the young men. The 18-year-old homegrown, Owen Wolf. When he receives that ball, he has to look over his shoulder first and foremost to see that he has space to attack. And again, RSL do a really poor job of closing, closing him down, but take nothing away from that strike. He picks a corner. You see the two goal scorers there celebrating. Savarino. Trilak and Pereira. Well, the referee was right over this when he's gone to the back pocket. There's going to be a red card. Krylak hasn't gone anywhere yet. And he is going to go have a look at this one. Loses the ball, the ball gets away from him. And his natural instinct is just to try to win the ball back. Nowhere near as much contact as we thought initially, though. In the moment. Yeah. In the moment, it looked a lot worse. And again, as you mentioned, referee is well positioned. It's a big moment here now. And he's waved it away, huh? Oviedo, bright beginning to the second half for him, Rubin. Good win back by Loffelson. Gomez, gonna go for goal! That's Stuber taking no chances, was he? <laughs> well, that thing was moving, wasn't it? Both dealing with some immigration things. They are back, but not available until they play again in a couple of weeks. Ragone gets away from Silva. Ragone in behind. Is he going to go for goal? Cuts back in, and that allowed Glad to get back in and defend it.
It looked like he had a clear path to goal on his right. He wants to get back on that favorite left foot. Can he take the strike on his right? That allows him that split second. Magoni will take this one right-footed. The header on target and the goalkeeper at full stretch. Good header from Driussi. We'll have another chance on his left foot. Cross in and that's well defended by Krylak. Not many beat him in the air. Gallagher, why not have a go? Cross in, far post! And they have a third goal. Although the flag has gone up. Too long. As you see, he's just straight there in an offside position. As that ball gets played across from Gallagher, who does really well. Get the crowd back on their feet as well. Want a kick delivered in, and Stuver flapping at it. The second effort, also woodwork from Ojeda. Giveaway, Zardes, a little bit of open space for him to run into. Nice little ball out wide. Driussi, good block. Driussi had a second attempt, good save. Zardes couldn't get on the rebound. Lima tries a curl effort, and that one actually comes off his own man. Anderson Julio to, to really attack space and to be a different kind of profile. Krylak, here it is. Anderson Julio! And he catches it well, but the flag has gone up. That half volley technique was superb. Warm ovation for Luna. Norfolson gets a, a couple of pats on the back. Good second out from him. Delivery in. Krylak header! It was on target. Oh, hey, that. Good win back again by Gallagher. And the referee's going to allow play to continue. Driussi. Arute in behind. He's onside. Arute! Off the woodwork. That would have sealed it. It doesn't matter anyway, because there is the final whistle. And after losing the season opener at home, Josh Wolf's side have gone back-to-back -back with victories in Major League Soccer play.